If you're continuing from the last exercise, you can continue using the model that we worked on in that exercise. If you're not, you can create a new design using the shaft underscore M working file. This, we can see we have a setup and we've created a facing operation. And as you apply this tool pass, it's always a good idea to see how this is actually going to work when the machine goes to mill this particular face. So with the operations applied, we can preview them. And we do this by actually simulating the process. So from the CAM workspace in the ribbon, I'm going to select simulate. Now with simulate, we can actually say, okay, we want to simulate the tool. And you can see we simulate the tool and the holder. We can pick the different portions that we want to simulate. And I'm actually going to make it transparent so we can actually see through it. So we can see as it's going to go through the stock. Do we want to show the points along the tool path? And what is it that we want to see? So let's just go with the default here. We want the tool path and we want all of the tool path. I do want to see the stock because I want to see what this is going to look like when I put this piece of metal into the mill and it starts to do the operation, what's actually going to look like. So you can see right now it's colorized based on the operation, but we could actually colorize it based on the tool. So the stock will actually change based on the tooling that's selected, or we could just leave it as the material. So we could specify the colorization based on the material. The mode, as you can see here, is standard or fast. So I'm okay with standard. And the material is metal because this part is made out of aluminum. Notice also the option to stop on collision so that if something is going to collide, whether it's a fixture or something else, it will actually stop at that point and say, okay, this is where I'm colliding. So now with this open, I can click play and you can see that it's going to go through and actually simulate the process. And as it's simulating, I can rotate the model, pan zoom. Notice that it temporarily pauses the simulation. And once I let go and finish the operation, then it returns. So I can actually go back previous steps. I can go back to the previous operation, which in this case is only one, and then I can play it again. Now, if we flip over to the info tab, we can get real time information. So you can see the X, Y, Z position. I can get the current spindle speed, the feed rate. I can get a description of the operation. So real time as it's proving. Now, if I like to slow this down, let's change the speed. Let's go back to the start and I'll click play and notice the speed has slowed down. I'm now working in reverse, or I can slow it down in the forward direction as well. So I've moved on this side of center, so now it's going in forward. And I can slow this down if I want to get some more information, get some more detail, see how it's actually machining this out, and then click and drag that to increase the speed. If I flip over to the statistics tab, I can see the total machining time, the total machining distance, and the number of operations and tool changes. So in this case, there's one operation, but if we want a total for the entire sequence, this would be the tab that we'd want to use. So you can use the simulation process at any point in the process. So as you're adding operations, it's always good to see how is this going to work, how is it going to look, what's the statistics of it, to make sure that as you're adding more operations, everything's still going to work. So that's simulating the toolpath and the machining operation within Fusion's CAM environment.